I have installed the final build of Android 13 and uh, that also in dual boot so if you check the notification um, you can see we have the new song notification but under that it says dynamic system update so if I restart it will boot up into the the stock ROM or any custom ROM it is helpful if you want to try it out the newest update from Google and uh, you can check it out the new design and everything so we have the wallpaper and style options and uh, now we have 12 options for the color themes the newer color options are very vibrant and makes the device customization even much more deeper so the color options are quite good and they also look much more vibrant and appealing in the light mode so you can check it out in the settings and uh, even the keyboard everything gets applied and it looks quite good and even though it's the final build of android 13 the themed icons are still in beta now let us see how to install it in the dual boot use the treble check app and make sure the first two options are supported then only proceed and also i'm using the motorola moto g 5g then we will need the android 13 gsi image so i will be using the pixel 5 gsi image and check the description for the links so i'm currently on a custom rom and it is based on android 12 and my bootloader is also unlocked so you need your bootloader also to be unlocked then finally we will use the dsu side loader application to flash the gsi so first you when you opened up you need to set up a folder and then go to the preference and you can set the size you want to allocate for the gsi and i'm using the root mode but i've already made a video to use the adb or wireless adb so you can also check those uh, the root mode mode is uh, quite easy because you do not need to run any commands so after setting it up just restart your application then we can just tap to select our gsi image so locate the file then just tap on it now check everything is ok and then just click on the keep the screen turn on and now we can just click on the install the gsi image so it's going to give us some warning um, if we have already installed it previously and now make sure everything is in order then just start the process so it has started the extraction process and this will take some time so just leave your phone aside for the moment And after a while it will ask you for the authentication to start the installation process and you can see it says that the installation progress can be seen in the notification so you can see here and this will also take a long time so again just set your phone aside and now it has successfully installed and just we can restart it to boot into the GSI image your device might restart twice uh, during the process and uh, it might not boot on every smartphone so keep that in mind but if you're lucky you will see this logo and uh, it will start the setting up process so we have the setup screen and uh, now we can add our Wi-Fi and other information so let me quickly do that so you can definitely try it out as there is no loss of data and if you want to just get rid of the GSI just discard from the notification. So that was it for this video. Do like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.